All right. First and foremost, I give all praises and glory to Yahweh, Bahashim, Yahweh Shah, Bahashim, Rakakadash, double to the pasta editors of GMS. It's our taste to your brother pushing word but truth, truth and sincerity on four corners. Brother Tyson from GMS Mississippi Camp. I'm going to do a quick lesson on this. Uh, one of the videos we got, I got from one of the brothers off of uh, Instagram. It basically is going on. Basically, the, the video basically tell you what's going to happen in the near future. What about the uh, go down? And if you if you ain't been watching, you been watching news. You're not keeping with with with, uh, with what's going in the world. You you gonna be caught with your pants down, All right? Because it's it's gonna get bad out here. Jacob's trouble is coming, and this is my first scripture. Then I'm gonna play the video. Uh, this is Daniel twelve and one. And at that and at that time shall Michael stand up, the great prince which stand for thy children of thy people, and there shall be a time of trouble, such as never was since there was a nation, even to the same time. Uh, it, it, this trouble, how it gonna go down, it gonna be people like you never seen before. This gonna be uh this this shit gonna be to another level. That's what it said. It said, and there should be a time of trouble, such as it never was since it was a nation. See? Even to the same time. And at that time, thy people shall be delivered. Everyone that shall be found reading the book. And, and pray and hope that you part of the, part of the, your name be found in the book, written in the book. Be part of his leg. If you're not, it's, it, it, it's, it's, it's going to be bad out here. In this video, I'm, I'm going to show you, hey, it shows you, hey, it shows you, man. It's it going to be tough out there, man. Real tough. And I'm trying to wait to the move, I'm trying to wait to the start and the beginning of it. So, so y'all let y'all listen to it. All right, let me see. Yeah, because... If you if you see, you see something, you just you just trying to get to the beginning. Here you go. I think crime is really going to increase if we have a dollar crisis because you're going to have food shortages, you're going to have power blackouts, and you're going to have an absence of police. I mean, I think the police are not going to show up for work, so it's kind of going to be every man for himself. You know, people become lawless. You know, just if the power goes out, sometimes people start looting just because their team wins the Super Bowl. You're talking about. No food on the shelves. People are hungry. You don't think they're going to steal under those circumstances? Of course. You may be a prepper. And you may have a lot of stuff. But if you're too close to people that don't have a lot of stuff, they may come for your stuff. Hey, like I said, if they know you got some, they going to come for your shit. If you got a generator, called generator real loud, if you know, they know you got a generator, you're trying to keep something. They know you got something, so they coming. Now, they say, say you know, people arrive because uh, uh, cause your team in the Super Bowl or whatever. Hey, motherfucker going to ride, ride because they ain't got no food. The, the, the dollar crash. It's going to be, it's going to be hell, hell out there. Like people say, it's going to be hell out there. All right? Um, I got this second inch of 15 and I'm going to start 14. Woe unto the world and them that do it therein. For the sword and their discretion dry nigh. And one people should stand up and fight against another. One, and, and swords in their hands. So, hey, you're going to have a civil war. All right? Let's see. Verse... Uh, 16, for there should be a sedition among men invading one another. Think about it. Hey, pe people going to break into your house, and if you ain't got no weapon or something to protect yourself, it's easy. They're going to take it or kill you for it. Mm -hmm. For there should be sedition among men. All right, sedition among men invading one another, and they should not regard their kings nor princes. No, uh, 
kings nor prince, um, in the course of their action shall stay in their power. Man, hey, man, the government may tell them people what to do, especially that that that, that dollar crash. Everything gonna be chaos. They gotta protect their families. All right? Two. All right, verse seventeen. A man should desire to go into the into the city and should not be able to. Martial law. Set up chip points, man. The the Bible is so real. Cause we see what's going on. A man should desire to go into the city and should not be able. Verse eighteen. For for because of their their pride and the city should be troubled and their house should be destroyed and men should be afraid. Verse nineteen. A man should have no pity upon his neighbor, but should destroy their houses, houses with their sword and spoil their goods because of lack of bread and great and great tribulation. See, like 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 this this whole thing, this whole clip is just talking about uh Second Acts fifteen. How how everything gonna go down as soon as that money crash? How people gonna be out, out of people gonna just gonna be out of losing their fucking mind because they ain't got no money. No food. This, man, this is on the way. All right? And, and all you people been talking shit about the prophets. Hey, you about to see what's about to go down. And with that, y'all brothers stay strong. We almost home. I love you all praises and glory to Yahweh, Bahashim, Yahweh Shah, Bahashim, Bakar Kadash, Double ones to the Apostle, Hitler, the Gemini. And so I taste to your brother pushing word of a truth, truth and sincerity, shallow wound.